What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about the number one tip for any of our coaching clients to have success. Not just success in terms of Heartletics, going through the coaching program itself, but literally just success in life. And it all boils down to just being one simple thing. And if you're a client, you already know this because I say it all the time. Um, probably all the other coaches tell you as well. In fact, probably some of the other members inside of the community group has also said it, and that's to just be open-minded. And I'm going to share with you guys the importance and the maturity of being open-minded and how that applies to you as a client going through your coaching program here with Heartletics, but at the same time, somebody else that's just, hey, listening to the podcast, uh, maybe watching this video on YouTube and it's just like maybe they want to have success too. And this success could be in anything. If you got signed up for our coaching program, you're either trying to lose anywhere from like 20 to 50 pounds of fat, maybe getting off your medications, maybe having more energy, having more confidence, more self-esteem, uh, maybe a different mindset, whatever the case may be. Um, but if you're somebody that's listening in and you're just trying to have success in other areas, like maybe it's your relationship with your spouse, Maybe it's your relationship with your kids, anything like that, um, career status even. I promise you that like just this one simple tip and if you just implement it and apply it, it's going to help you out big time. And that's just to be open-minded. That's it. Like it's not like, hey, take this fat loss pill. It's not like, hey, do these sprints or, you know, hey, don't eat anything past 8 p.m. at night. Like, no, just the reality is this, just be open-minded, you know? And so as a coach, I always tell everybody, like, you're going to have to just get to this point in your life where you don't respond, you don't react, you take a step back and you just observe, okay? I always know that there's always going to be two sides of every story. I always know that, hey, somebody might look at something and see that the glass is half full and somebody else might look at something and see if that glass is half empty. There's a big difference here, right? We're only human and everybody's different. So, so many people have these egos. We'll just call it like how it is, right? Where they think they know it all. They think they know what's best. And at the end of the day, like that hurts them in the long run because if you're the smartest person in the room, well, you got to find a new room. And at the end of the day, like, I don't know, in just in terms of my life, I'm always trying to just find people that are better than me because I want to succeed. And I'm going to share with you guys a, a little story about how this could help you out in literally just any sense. But obviously, if you're a coaching client, you're trying to better your health uh, mentally and physically. So that's why you got signed up with us. But if you're somebody just listening in, hey, trust me, take note of this because this is very valuable here. And this is all going to make a lot of sense here. So uh, in terms of being open-minded, uh, we always tell our coaching clients, right? Be open-minded because we're going to tell them to do some things and, 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 and try to get them outside of their comfort zone. And we know that because like we have to push them. And so being open-minded is like, let's say for a fact, if you're a client, you already know, like you're probably eating a lot more food, especially if you're in your prep phase right now, you just got signed up for our coaching program. We have you eating a lot more food than probably what you're used to. You know, I always say it like this. Most guys think that, you know, in terms of, and if you're watching this on YouTube or, you know, if you're listening to this on Spotify or, you know, iTunes, just know I have a, a cup here with some water in it. And in terms of, you know, the water being calories and this cup being someone's body, uh, most guys think that they just overeat, right? Way too many calories come in, it spills over, and that's how they store body fat. Yes, there's some truth to that, but like the reality is most people don't put in enough calories and they actually have a very slow metabolism. And that's what's making them lose muscle. And that's why their body fat increases. Not that they're overeating or they struggle with portion control or late night cravings. It's more so that they're just not eating how they should be to burn body fat. Like that's just the basics, right? This is metabolism 101. This is kind of like the easy things that we kind of go over um, inside of our coaching program. But nonetheless, a client, right? They're, they're going to be eating a lot more food than what they're used to or a lot more protein for sure, because we understand that eating more protein is really going to help somebody not only burn body fat, but be in a, a, a faster position to help speed up their metabolic rate. So be open-minded. 
knowing that, hey, you're probably going to put on a first, you know, I don't know, one or two pounds eating more food because your body's metabolism isn't used to it. It's going to take some time to adapt. So that's what we're saying, like, be open minded. You know, we might tell you like, hey, at the end of the day, you know, like to get the best results from inside of our coaching program is maybe just, you know, once or twice, whenever you get a chance, just go inside the community group, maybe either making a post or joining one of our weekly Zoom chats that we do and just seeing what it's all about. Right. So that way it's not just, you know, um, your coaches and the meal plans and the workouts. Now it's like you get that team, you get that community. And tomorrow's episode, we're going to be talking all about the Heart Legs community and how just the importance of having community in your life. So just make sure that tomorrow's episode, you guys tune in because it's going to be a good one. But so it, it, we, we always educate a client, right? Hey, be open-minded, be open-minded. We know how this works. And so like most of the time, right, guys typically struggle with their health and fitness goals because they're on the island all by themselves. They're not open-minded. They're not. They, they have these egos. They're very prideful. They think they know it all. And it just makes them suffer. They're like, oh, I know how to lose weight. That's easy. And so what do they do? They eat next to nothing or they cut out their carbs or, you know, intermittent fasting or all this cardio and they lose weight. And then life throws them curveballs. They don't know how to sustain, you know, what they were already doing because what they do, what was doing to lose weight, like cutting out carbs or tons of cardio wasn't sustainable. So they regain the weight right back. And year after year, it's the same old song and dance. And they continue to tell themselves like, oh, I know what to do. When the reality is they don't, they're on the island all by themselves. So if you want to have success in anything, your health and fitness journey, um, success in your career relationship, you got to be open-minded. I'm going to tell you a, a great story about me. I'm going to be, I'm, this is like a proud moment in terms of like how I am maturing. So I love Heartletics, right? Obviously it's, it's my business. It's my baby. Like this is my livelihood. Like I love it. I live, you know, like it's like just I can't express how much my my business is my passion just my heart everything like there's so much more that goes into it but nonetheless we got somebody right that that called me out and it took me a step back and I had to just really practice what I preach and what I help guys with and that's don't respond don't react take a step back and just observe so long story short one of our one of our new coaching members, you know, that um, he put down his deposit to get signed up, which means that, hey, for five hundred dollars down, you can get access to the app. We'll build out your meal plans, your workouts, um, put you what's called your prep weeks where you get access to everything about coaching without actually starting coaching. It's kind of like test driving a vehicle before you make that financial commitment. And then, you know, from there, you get to decide like, hey, we got month to month. We got different packages. It's just kind of whatever best suits your budget, your lifestyle at that point. And so nonetheless, this, this, this guy got signed up. He put down a deposit, okay? Filled out his meal plans, workouts, watched the onboarding, everything like that. Did his onboarding call with Coach Mark, which is just like um, that one-on-one -on -one time with another coach going over firsthand how to use the app. So that way you're 210% ready, you know, about like tracking and logging your foods and, you know, the workouts and everything like that to make sure that you're just, you know, going to have success on your journey. And so there comes to a point where they talk to me it's kind of like our kickoff call, right? Where we kind of talk about goal setting, becoming that 2.0 version of yourself, breaking those self-learning beliefs. And so I'm talking with this guy and I can just tell that something was kind of off, right? He, he, he wasn't as active on the app like how he was when he first got started. And so I just asked him, I said, hey, before we get started, I, I just want to let you know, I'm just open here. I, please just be honest. Tell me everything so far. How have you been liking Heartletics? And I had, a, I had to swallow my ego, right? I had to put it to the side because what he said wasn't necessarily the, the nicest thing, right? Or no, I will say this. It was a very nice thing. It's not like he said it in an aggressive tone or anything like that. It was just like he just expressed everything that he did not like so far. Things like how it was kind of confusing, uh, things about how he was getting sent over all these emails about, you know, hey, sign up to become a client. And he didn't know if he should unsubscribe or if he did, he would have missed something, the importance that had, you know, now that he's a coaching member. And there was a lot of confusion, right? There was these videos that also were very confusing for him. And instead of me, you know, saying like, oh, well, hey, you could have easily, you know, press that unsubscribe button. 
or hey, for these videos, you know, you could easily press that button right there, you know, tally it off saying that it was completed. Or for this right here, you know, it's whatever. I could have done that. And honestly, like the old me definitely would have done that. Like probably like six months ago, I, I, I would have done that, you know, because I took it as defense. And so many guys do that where if someone tells you something and it could be complete honesty, right? And they're not trying to say anything to offend you, but guys take it the wrong way. They put their emotions on the line and they get so defensive when they don't know how to take constructive criticism. And it was one of these things where he's telling me, and I'm just saying, tell me more. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell, tell me everything. I'm just writing everything down. And I'm very proud of myself for doing that. Okay? And I told him, I said, Gary, at the end of the day, brother, like, I love you for telling me this. Okay? This is exactly what I'm going to do. And I told him, hey, it's already on my game plan to edit this. But, you know, based on everything that you told me, I'm going to let all the coaches know. And plus, I'm going to fix this. Within 24 hours, everything was fixed. I redesigned the entire prep phase for all clients. I redesigned the entire like onboarding. Like I, hey, put my phone on, do not disturb, go to town. Why? Did I have to do that? Like do, does a lot of people complain or no, right? Like like not a lot of people, like I've, I've heard it a few times about like the emails and I just always say like unsubscribe, but like this is really the first time I'm kind of hearing about like the videos and like, I just make things easier and like I'm like okay okay instead of me putting my ego there and getting all upset and butt hurt because somebody just you know told me con just being completely honest with me constructive criticism but I put my defense mechanism up right I got my emotions tied and said hey he's trying to attack me here like he's 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 nah -uh. this is our baby like no one can no one can you know offend heartletics we gotta defend them back no I, I put that to the side, right? And I was just open-minded. And guess what? I thought about it. Okay, if this is one individual that's struggling right now in terms of like his prep phase, everything like that, and it's confusing, there's probably some other people in the past that it's been confusing with too, and maybe they just never voiced their opinion with me. Or what if somebody in the future gets signed up and it's the next thing, right? It's the same thing. And it, it's just one of those things where, hey, it sucks, right? You got to rip off the bandaid and redesign. And I had, a, there was a lot of work, right? A lot of work that go to, that went into play, but guess what? Within 24 hours, everything was redesigned. Cause one, I'm always a firm believer that success likes speed. So if you know, Hey, I'm going to do this, do it. And we're going to talk about that here in a little bit more. That's going to really help you guys out with this, but do it. Like, don't try to do all these like small manual task and oh I got this email campaign and I got to do this I got to do this no just do it swallow the frog first rip off the band-aid as much as it sucks it's way easier to get it over with that could be anything that like hey maybe you're not accepting the fact that you're over 30 percent body fat you're struggling to have energy to play with the kids right you're struggling with blood pressure and year after year it's the same old song to dance of the yo-yo effect lose weight gain weight lose weight Maybe it's about time you just admit that you don't know what you're doing. Rip off the Band-Aid and find help. It, it's that simple. In fact, like at Heartletics, we literally have a free coaching video that goes over everything. Like literally our seven essential fat loss habits, um, different episodes that you can watch how it's broken down, like nutrition, mindset, tra everything. Like there's literally like, what else are you looking for? Somebody just hand you a special pill and say, hey, take this. You're going to instantly lose 50 pounds, get off your blood pressure meds. It's never going to happen. Right, I, I can predict the future right now. That's never going to happen. Trust me. Okay, you need to be open minded, and so with me, I, I had to do that. And guess what? It made me also think about it too, because then I immediately told the coaches everything, and then we had a weekly Zoom chat with all the members, and I simply just told all the members like, "Hey, has anybody else been expressing this also?" And some of the other members raised their hand, and I said, "Thank you, thank you." Like, what else? And so some of the members were also mentioned about the emails, right? And getting sent over all these emails. They didn't know if they should unsubscribe also. And it's telling them to book and sign up a call. And so I immediately told them, I said, yeah, go ahead, unsubscribe. But then I thought about something real quick. I said, what am I trying to do here with Heartletics? Honestly, like 
I, I, at one point, obviously, I was trying to make a lot of money, right? I was trying to just be the, the, the uh, hey, just give me all the, the, the fame, right? Like, I want to be the best coaching program, right? And I just want the publicity of that, right? Be the top dog. That's what I wanted. And then I took a step back. And I, I'm just starting to just get more creative with myself and my intuition of where Heartletics is going. And it's nothing but value. Honestly, nothing but just giving away value. That's why I redesigned that new video that went over literally how to burn body fat. Like you're not gonna, I'll literally teach you how to become your own nutritionist for your own body, <laughs> your own personal trainer for your own body and to help you achieve your goals. That's at Heartletics, free of charge. Just go watch that video. Everything's broken down in there. And so I'm hearing about like, okay, I just told somebody to unsubscribe. Why would I tell somebody to do that? Unsubscribe from my mailing list. Well, they were getting a, a, a email saying to book a call. And at the end of the day, like they're already a client, so it makes sense. They should unsubscribe. So I thought about it from a whole business perspective. And I'll be honest with you guys. If anybody's ever signed up for a call or, you know, uh, get, download a free fat loss ad with Heartletics, you probably got sent a bunch of emails. Probably like one a day, honestly. Maybe even multiple times a day. And I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart right now. I'm sorry. Because at one point, I was trying to sell you on something. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm trying to serve you on everything at this point. So I took a step back and I'm like, okay, I don't want these guys to unsubscribe because it means I'm not doing my justification of Heartletics ambition and that is to change the world. Uh, like it's just, okay, hey, sign up for a call. That's not offering value. That's not offering support. And so Every single one of my emails, which is like over 300 of them, I'm, I'm literally updating and editing them like right now. And I'm grinding at this. We're talking early mornings, late nights. Um, like it's, it's a grind. And they're all the same formats going forward. I have not hit submit yet, so I don't think anybody's getting these. But going forward, like you, if you receive an email from Heartletics, it is going to be a short, right? Like, we're talking about this person, maybe two to three sentences. Like, for example, Mike Berry. Here's how he got off his blood pressure, cholesterol, and reversed his type 2 diabetes in seven weeks of coaching, right? Here's a little screenshot of his testimonial, you know, post into the community group telling everybody, right? Social proof. Here's his before and after photo looking really good in this cowboy hat. Social proof. Oh, yeah. Now, you want the full scoop on the actual podcast itself on where Mike and me and the other coaches talk firsthand, not only about carbs, insulin, reversing type 2 diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, like everything, it's it's right there. It's a, Now you got a Spotify link, an iTunes link, the YouTube video right there. You can go listen to that podcast because guess what? If you're struggling with type 2 diabetes, blood pressure, cholesterol, you just got your, your source of information right there. Because your doctor telling you, hey, start eating healthier and start being more active, that's not going to help you get off your medications, brother. But just getting an, an email sent over and, and being redirected to what's ever an easier platform for you to listen to the content, whether that's watching on YouTube, which if you're there, please subscribe. Give the video a like. Help me out here. All right? I'm just trying to give you guys free advice anyways. Whether it's Spotify, whether it's you know iTunes, hey, leave a good review. But like, listen. That video right there, that content, I promise you, if I'm making a podcast, it, there's going to be so much value in that. You're, you're going to have success. It's just about applying it. Like, I'll be honest, the guys that get signed up for a coaching program, the guys that say, hey, I want to put down $500. I want to see what coaching is all about. These guys are not in it for meal plans and workouts and to lose weight. These guys are in it to change and transform their lives. These guys are in it to better themselves mentally and physically. These guys are in it to create sustainable habits and, and learn, you know, obviously how to teach their, their kids how to do all this and, and fit it in with the family and learn how to become the best version of themselves. Like that's these guys that get signed up for Heartletics. And it all starts with you being open-minded. Whether you're a client, hey, just be open-minded in anything in life. Remember, don't react, don't respond, take a step back and observe. Mike Hoffman, all right, I love him to death. He told everybody in one of our weekly Zoom chats about how his, you know, he, they were waiting for his son, right, to come out. Uh, I think his, it was for late for school or late coming home, one of the situations. And, you know, immediately, like, 
his spouse, you know, thought worst case scenario, like anybody would like, Hey, our, our son is late. Maybe he's doing this. Maybe he's whatever thinking, right? Remember glass half empty. Mike took a step back and said, responded, right? He said, Hey, what if he's here? And that's exactly where he was. And it turned out to be a really good thing that he was there. And it's just like one of those things where, you know, somebody's always going to look into the terms of this being bad. And somebody's always going to look in terms of it being good. You know, like somebody's always going to see his glass half empty or glass half full. So one of the best ways to help you to have success in anything that you guys want in life is to just be open minded. Like that's it. As much as it sucks to rip off the band aid, it helps out so much. And like the, the second best thing that you can do, honestly, if you want to achieve massive success in your life, it's this. So obviously the first one's be open minded. You mix it with this, you're going to be a killer. I promise you that in anything that you want to achieve in your life. It's to be smart. You got to be open-minded and you got to be smart. And my terminology of smart is the opposite of arrogant. Okay. So remember, if you're open-minded and you're smart, which is the opposite of being arrogant, you're going to achieve massive success. What does that mean? I'll put it to you like this, right? Be open-minded. Okay. Hey, I know I need to lose weight. Okay. Okay, Coach Joe just said on this podcast over at heartletics.com, there's a free like 30-minute video training going over literally a step-by-step approach on how to burn body fat, lose weight, have more energy, have more confidence, right? Somebody arrogant is going to be like, well, hey, I know I need to lose weight. I'm going to go cut out carbs. Like, (laughs) you're missing the point here, dude. (laughs) Even though you're open-minded, yeah, you know you need to lose weight. Like, can we at least be smart? Can we at least be smart about it? Like everything's broken down. It's the same thing when like a pe- somebody would message me and say like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight and I want to get, you know, surgery. Like why? What's the point? Like do your own damn research. Like the people that get surgery, they end up regaining all the weight right back because they don't make an identity shift within. They don't learn how to create sustainable habits. And it's literally just once again, putting a bandaid on the gunshot wound. You're still going to bleed out. It's not that hard. Like, it's just that people are lazy. People want to look for the easy way out. Where it's just like, you could spend 30 minutes with a pen and paper, literally write down everything, implement it with all the tips that I give you at heartletics.com and the free training, and boom, you're going to have massive success. Like, that's the inevitable. But you got to be open-minded and you got to be actually smart, you know? You can't be ignorant and say, oh, I got this. And you're just going to do intermittent fasting or tons of cardio and cut out your carbs. It's like the same thing applies to this, right? So I, I'm a big fan of jujitsu. I love jujitsu. Okay. And every Sunday is open mat. Well, guess what? Like a- anywhere I go, whether it's a, a new gym I'm going to, or like a different, you know, school to practice jujitsu, whether it's a, a different state, maybe I'm visiting my brother down in Florida, wherever the case may be. Why would I want to just go in there and look for the guys that are like, hey, like, okay, they're maybe like less than me on the talent. So, so for example, if you guys don't know jujitsu, right, there's a, a ranking system usually with belts if you were geese, okay? And so the top dogs, obviously the black belts. Well, if somebody's coming in, right, and let's say they're only a white belt, bottom of the barrel, right? Well, they, they can decide to roll like, hey, who are they going to roll with, Right. And if there's a white belt that decides to, let's say, you know, talk to a black belt and say, hey, you want to roll? And is just open-minded knowing the fact like, hey, they're going to get completely destroyed here by this black belt. But guess what? You know how much better they're going to be if they just continue practicing? Practice, 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 practice with the top dogs, with the black belts? You know how faster they're going to apply that? You know how faster they're going to improve on their craft and skill of jujitsu? But yet, so many people look for the easy way out in life. And like, think about it. Because I always say this, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So you're probably thinking like, okay, well, yeah, I I can go to jujitsu. Yeah, I I can obviously do that and go roll with, you know, uh, black belts and get my butt kicked. Hey, I I can easily do that, right? I can be open-minded here. But once again, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So in terms of, let's just say fat loss, for example, here, okay, well, hey, uh, you can easily download an app, track your calories, try to hit your protein goal, you know, 
focus on trying to get a daily step goal and let's say do some form of resistance training. And just know this, it's not going to happen overnight. There's going to be some times where you gain some weight, some times where you some lose some weight. It's not going to be a smooth sailing approach, but at the end of the day, you're going to reach your goals. Like think about that, right? Did I say that was, you know, going to be a, um, just a walk in the park? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, like that's hard. Most people out there are ignorant and arrogant and they're like, okay, well, Hey, I'm just going to still go cut out carbs. I'm still just going to go like intermittent fast. I'm still going to go just like endless amounts of cardio. And it's kind of like Albert Einstein said it best. The definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. It's like you have right here in this podcast episode, guys, the two things to change your life completely, whether it's losing weight, whether it's advancing in your career, advancing your relationships, helping you have more confidence, whatever the case may be, you got to be open minded and you have to be smart. AK, don't be arrogant. Like if someone's going to tell you, hey, um, here's how Warren Buffett made millions in stocks and everything like that. He invested into index funds. Okay, cool. Safe bet, right? And then all of a sudden the recession comes, right? And it's this crash and the market goes down and Warren Buffett and all these top investors, they're putting money into the market because everything's basically on sale right now. But Everybody else that's scared, right? Maybe they're open-minded like, oh yeah, hey, I'm going to start investing money. But now they're arrogant. They're like, okay, well, hey, it might continue to go down, right? Like I'm just going to wait or I don't know what's going to happen here, right? And continue to wait. But then you look at guys like, you know, Warren Buffett, they're putting more money in when everything's down. Why? Because if you look at history and how it always repeats itself in the stock market, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. So if you're buying stuff that's basically on sale now, congratulations, because eventually when the market goes right back up, it's going to average your costs. You're going to get a better return on that. It's just you got to understand the game here. You got to be open-minded, right? And once again, I'm not a financial advisor, right? Let's just be real with that, okay? <laughs> Let's be 100% honest. I hope you burn body fat and change your life, but um, finances, no. I got somebody that covers that, all right? That's not my forte. But you got to be open-minded and you got to be smart, aka don't be arrogant, which means that like, hey, if you find somebody out there, right? This is why I always say like investing in a coach, if you're looking to like change and, you know, whatever, get help from a coach and tomorrow's episode talking all about coaches, the community at Heartletics, trust me, that is going to be some golden nuggets for you guys to listen to. That's going to be a fun, fun episode. But regardless, in terms of looking for a coach, right? Let's say you want to lose some weight, right? Well, guess what? Don't go look for a coach or a program where the trainer, the coach, they're not even in shape themselves, right? Like that's kind of like an oxymoron. Oh, hey, I'll help you lose 50 pounds, but they're not even in shape themselves. The second thing when it comes to looking as a coach, right, is like look for the person that you are trying to become or that's like in your demographics. So for example, if you see a coach and he coaches all like bikini, you know, competitors and you're in your 40s and you got kids and you know, you're a middle-aged, you know, man, um, guess what? Like I would pick a different coach that could maybe help guys over the age of 40. That's like, Hey, they're also busy dads, just like yourself, just a little bit more credibility here, right? Not that that individual, that coach cannot get your results. I'm sure they can. It's not that hard to burn body fat, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And the last thing is just like looking in terms of like what you're getting with the coach, like what we give people, it's not just meal plans and workouts and some check-in videos that we do multiple times per week. It's support, it's accountability, it's community, it's love, it's guidance, and it's knowledge. That's why I always tell people like, Heartletics, we're the guys that's just gonna help change your life, that's it. Teach you everything, that way, hey, you don't need us anymore. Because it means that we did our job to teach you everything. And here's the thing, right? As we wrap things up here at the end of the episode, all I want you guys to do is just be open-minded and be smart. And if you're, you know, somebody inside the community group, awesome. Do something uncomfortable today that's going to push you, right? Put the ego to the side. And if you're somebody that's on the fence, think about getting a sign up for coaching, go to heartletics.com. Watch the free training. Literally, it's going to go over a step-by-step -step approach on how to burn body fat 
how to improve your health because all we're trying to do here is just help you. And guys, as we wrap things up here, if you got any value at all, please share this episode on your social media page. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.